Hey, I didn't see you there. Have you ever thought about traveling, but then considered the stresses and anxiety that's all associated with crossing a border? Have you ever been worried, stressed out, sweating, having sleepless nights the day before you're supposed to travel just because you're so stressed out about potentially getting stopped in search of the border? Yeah. Keep up with me, let's walk. So it's been a while, you know, I thought about it. I'm like, how can I get across different borders without having any issues? Well, let me tell you what. I've thought about three simple ways that you can easily get across the border without being asked any question. How you can bring a friend along, even if you don't tell them about it. And how you can get across any border by doing any some simple alterations to yourself that are barely even noticeable. Keep up with me. So you guys are probably thinking about, how can I do that? So let's check out the first way. The first life hack that I'm gonna offer you guys today, this is free advice by the way. The first life hack is basically cleaning out your car if you're going to a drive border. Basically there's a lot of drive borders around there. You know about those, right Ali? Mm -hmm. By the way guys, I'm with here with Ali H. Check out his channel. What up fans? That was a little loud. A little, a little bit. <laughs> Kinda hurt my ears. If you guys have ever gone through a drive border, this is something for you. Let's get it. Here we go guys, this is life hack number uno, number one. So if you know you're going to be driving your own car across the border and it's full of junk, clean it out. This right here is what you don't want in your trunk. This is a cluttered trunk right here. So what border patrol officers think usually is they're going to be hiding a bunch of narcotics, drugs, right away as soon as you get to the border and they see a dirty trunk, they think this right here is full of cocaine, marijuana, a mar uh, what's, a, what's another drug? MDMA, ecstasy, and whatever other things kids are doing these days. So what you want to do is clean out your trunk. Take all this junk out. So I'm going to show you guys how you want your trunk to look. So once you have your trunk all cleaned out, it's guaranteed. I promise you guys, you won't have any problems. If you do, you DM me and I'll solve it. I'll talk to the border patrol officers. So this is exactly how you want your trunk to Wait, cut, 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 cut. So now that your trunk is actually clean, this is what it should look like. Pretty much nothing in the trunk. Too clean is kind of suspicious, so leave a random empty bottle, some shoes, some soccer shoes to add a little funk, and then you should be good to go. So let's go to life hack number two. Hey, so now that you guys have seen the first way of uh, going across the border, clean out the trunk. It's simple, easy, don't leave anything behind. So the second way, you guys want to go along with a friend, right? Sometimes your friends don't have a passport, sometimes they're, they're legal aliens. Other times they're just people that are, you know, don't have a passport, too lazy to get it, too cheap, don't want to spend the money, <laughs> like some friends. Hey! That's all right, I won't, I won't add that in the video. Oh, thanks man, appreciate it. So what you want to do is bring that friend along. You want to go on vacation, you want to have fun, you want to enjoy sunbathing with that friend. Am I right, Ali? So you want to bring that friend along, but they don't have anything, no credentials, no ID to take it with them. I got just a thing for you guys. Watch this. <laughs> Basically, all you gotta do is buy yourself a triple XL, a woman's dress, and then that will basically fit you and your friend together. Let's show them how it's done. First thing you wanna do is put the dress on yourself. Take notes. Bring out the notepad. You're gonna need it. All right, so then you're gonna sit down. You just basically gotta get in here, buddy. This doesn't look wrong at all. Hey, hey, Max, you wanna be in? You wanna get in the strip too? You tell no one about this. Wait. Okay. Jump. <laughs> Should I be carrying you? No way. Jump. <laughs> Why are you so low? Okay. Jump, please. Jump. Okay, sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So there you go guys, this is how it's done. You can barely even tell that Ali gained any weight. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's one person. How you feeling there bud? I'm great. Alright, let me hide my head. We're good to go. Now that you've seen how you can bring your friend across the border, it just looks like you gained a couple of pounds, it's fine. Usually these guys don't even know what you looked like before, so if you're a little chubby... 
this is the friend that, that came actually across the border with me. We're gonna enjoy the sun together. Hey, sunshine! Danny, what are you doing? Don't show less stuff. Yo, I told you. Stay Allie. out of my garbage. Ali, your garbage smells so good, alright? Stay all right? out it just smells of my garbage. I hate when you do this to me, man. So you guys are getting pretty good at this, aren't you? You know two ways of how you can get across the border. This time, the second time, you can actually go there with a friend. You're probably wondering, hey, Dorito, Mr. Dorito, D Master Flex. Call me whatever you like, baby. But let me tell you what, there's a third way, the best way, and probably the simplest way of getting across the border. Sometimes just doing some small, minute changes to your to who you think you are, maybe changing your name, your nickname or something, gets you across the border. Sometimes you struggle, you're like, hey, my name is something racist, Muhammad, for example, and it'll be like, hey, I'm scared. Change your name, you know? Change it to like Andy or something. That might help. So let's see, let's look at an example of how that's done. <laughs> A lot of places sometimes will racial profile you just because you look a certain way. Just because you dress a certain way, just because you have a certain amount of body hair on your face does not make you- Hey, 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 hey I'm back, sorry, back, I'm back, sorry. back, I'm back, sorry. back, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get away, all right. what is that? Turn that camera, turn that camera All right, off. all right, all right, all right. I don't have no bomb. <laughs> I don't have no bomb, I promise. So a lot of times you get racially profiled just because you look a certain way and that's really not fair. So let me show you guys how to not get in this situation. Stop talking your stupid language and no one knows what you're saying. I swear I don't have any blood. Oh, shut up! If you're Arab, Black, Mexican, Puerto Rican, anything other than a white man, this is something that is going to resonate with you. You're going to feel this in your heart. This might be something that you're going to consider that you should probably try and I guarantee you, you will never have a problem ever again. Let's try it out. Hello sir, here's my huh? passport. No need my friend. You have yourself a good day and say hi to the missus for me. Well, golly gee sir, thank you. What the? Danny, what are you, what are you, what are oh, you hey. doing? What are you doing? Why do you have a coat hanger? So, uh, so to recap what we learned today, basically you learned three things, three ways to get across the border with having, without having any issues. First thing you gotta do, clean out your trunk. Don't leave anything behind. A cluttered trunk begs for questioning. You can hide drugs in there. Who knows? Maybe a body. I don't know. I've never done that. Second way, just bring a friend with you. That's easy, that's easily done. You guys can watch it, you guys know how to do it. If I did it, you guys can do it. And last but not least, minute alterations to your to who you are, because that can change everything. So you guys can now go ahead and try that yourself. And if it doesn't work, you can tell your border services to take it up with Danny Dorito. Hope you guys try this out, and it works out for you just as good as it did for me. Hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe, and happy Halloween.